So now let's uh, bring in the, the images that we worked on Photoshop and start placing it. So the BG sky and the foreground. Yeah, for this, I'll use another layout so that's large viewer. So here our foreground uh, comes in. So let's first apply a merge node. And this is the back, uh, the foreground, and we'll connect the background from here. And uh, this image has an alpha channel because we saved it as PNG from Photoshop. So we can apply uh, pre-multiply. It pre it multiplies with its alpha, so it gives us uh, what we worked on. Let's put it there, and then. We put another merge, we merge the other image. Which is a sky. And then we connect it to the, the main background. Which gives us this. Uh, my footage seems a bit overexposed for some reason. Uh, I think I might have changed something. Uh, let me just try to check it. Okay, there's no. So right now we have our uh, the, the the ground and the and the sky. So first, let's uh, try to balance this crown. Let's put a color correct node. And maybe reduce the saturation. So if we put it all the way to zero, it's black. So I think 0.68. That's fine, and then maybe reduce, uh, increase the contrast. I uh, just have to work that with your eyes. And so one point two, and maybe bring the gamma down. So point eight five. And increase the reduce the grain uh, gain maybe. See where it goes. So we don't want want it to be uh, really soft here. A little bit of contrast, and maybe in the shadows we can offset offset it a little bit. Uh, if you see closer, so that's a shadow area. So that, that it's not really dark, we have some values there. So 0 0.01 maybe. And then maybe go to the midtones and press control and click the game. And just play with the colors. It depends on your taste, like what kind of look you're going for. I'm looking for a very desaturated look. And uh, 
And also, uh, I don't like the placement of the ground, so I'll put down a transform node uh, right there and maybe just pull it down because the angle of the camera is such that uh, you'll hardly see the ground, but we'll have, we'll have something so that there's a reference point uh, where our ships come in. Just slide and I think that works fine. We still have something to show just as a guide. Enough of this. Uh, for the sky, I forgot to mention, but the sky is really grainy. So I'll use a very uh, light node that's called D grain. Uh, simple. Uh, if you look at the RGB, the red channel, the green channel, they are quite noisy. So. I'll reduce the red amount to 4 and also the green amount to 4, uh, 5 for blue is fine. So it gets rid of uh, quite a bit of noise. I'm not sure if you can see it in the compression. It does get rid of quite a bit of uh, grain, even though it's, uh, it's static grain. Uh, so let me save the comp. Uh, okay, start. And then we'll use this input. And look at the output. Like so. And uh, let me also uh, try to balance this guy a little bit. Uh, go to gain and uh, just see what's uh, what's a good color and value for the cloud. It's all trial and error. Uh, this is still not the final composite, so. Yeah, I think that works. And uh, and and also, uh, the, right now the sky is quite uniform. So I'll I'll, I'll make uh, another grade uh, that will be controlled by a mask. Pressing R R O for Roto, and we'll use this mask as uh, like uh, towards the horizon. Uh, we want the sky to be a bit uh, more orangey so it's like kind of like sunset like when the sun sets kind of effect you create the mask and select this and control and drag all the way out and then apply a blur so that it blurs a mask a huge amount of blur 180 and then if we look at the alpha so that's the blur without the blur, with the blur. And then uh, let's grade it a uh, little uh, reddish. So that's, ex that's quite extreme, but just remove the saturation. A little, a little uh, desaturated orange look and then if it's too much then we can always go to the the mix the mix part and reduce it or increase it so I'll just put it down to 0 0.78 so I think it's the, it works out for us and and with this clip, uh, will be the character will be in focus for uh, 
for the duration uh, feed duration of the frame and then we rack focus towards the incoming ship so uh, we might want to add a defocus node let's add that and uh, actually before that I'll also apply another another defocus uh, on the the on the ground clip uh, but just a little bit because uh, because the ground is never in focus uh, for the whole duration of the shot so that's why uh, I'll just defocus it a bit more so that the edges are softer and then we apply an overall defocus that will be animated so like first in the first part beginning of the footage uh, have a defocus of amount of around 16 pixels uh, so uh, we begin our shot from this amount of defocus and then towards the end uh, we bump it down to maybe like 4 pixel when the ships are three, 2 when the ships are in the area so that's but that's for the later stage and uh, now to blend in our like I said as we go along the composite then we will be improving our key for the character so I think right now is a good time to showcase uh, something so let's pay attention to this area and uh, now in our uh, in our uh, despill node uh, where we despilled all the greens the green also has some luminance value so uh, especially towards the edges where like right now uh, when it's disabled there is some green uh, uh, sorry green bleeding over to our skin so it gets rid of those greens so we, we want those um, we want those luminance value also to be present so that later on when we multiply it with the actual background uh, it, it it blends the edges blends uh, well together so for that uh, let's first find out how much luminance have we lost uh, during the despill process so let's drop down a merge node and then we can connect the A to the footage, uh, the actual footage, and B to the despill footage. I mean, after after the despill, just manage my node so that it's clean, and have a look at it. And then we uh, do the operation of minus. So right now here, see if you see. Uh, all the green area where the character is these are the luminance or the the values that were lost during the despill process so we'll try to add that back <clears throat> so we apply a saturation node oh, we don't want the green we just want the just the luminance value so we apply saturation and change the luminance math to maximum and desaturate it all the way so there's no green in there <clears throat> and then we put another merge node uh, this time is for the background where we will we will be multiplying it with the with the background especially like these edges so the idea is uh, the actual background and the foreground uh, will will see the the brightness or the levels values and it, it will help us <clears throat> sort of uh, a secondary light trap but with the multiplied version of the uh, the background so it works much better than the light trap but we need light trap but we'll use this for our the hero alpha or the map so for this um, we'll uh, grab the foreground that's the background 
if we zoom out so this is the output for our background so all we have to do is connect this a from wherever this wherever the background's last uh, point is and then if you see and we multiply uh, uh, multiply so right now what it's doing is uh, our alpha is being multiplied uh, with the background so so um, how to explain so this is the green screen right so this area for example is being uh, her skin is being multiplied by uh, like by default is being multiplied by the green screen but when we multiply it with the background what it does is uh, the background's color they carry over to her skin so if you see uh, it, it gets carried over so uh, and then what we can do is <clears throat> we can merge it back to our dspill uh, pipe connect it here so with this operation uh, if you change it to plus uh, what it does is uh, uh, I'll show you I, I think you can see it better if I do it with the final background yeah so <clears throat> so let's see if I disable this node uh, I think a good example we to see here so I don't know if you can see it in compression but so if I disable that that's our default but if I enable it it brings a bit a bit a little bit brings back a little back uh, of the the luminance and the a few of the smaller details plus it's being multiplied with the background so if I show you around this area disable enable disable enable so th the edges are blending in well together so right now so now what I can do now is uh, let's say I drop a, a grade node and then uh, let's say uh, I bump up the some bright color like so and then if you see the let's jump a few frames <clears throat> yeah this is a good example so if I disable uh, it's really subtle but it it really helps with a, com a composite so right right now right here there is a very really, uh, hard edge or the blending is very hard but if I enable that it gets rid of those uh, hard edge and just blends uh, much better so that's how we uh, get our luminance and the edge we show we sort the edge problem and uh, some of the areas we can still get it back when we have our final composite so we get rid of this grade node and save our script And one last thing uh, I'd want to do is uh, I, I want uh, the uh, these edges uh, right now if you see the alpha is really like it's like almost there's like no anti-aliasing so if I uh, we can uh, what we can do is we can uh, grab we can extract uh, extract an alpha channel from the alpha of the character and then apply an overall blur to the background and the edge so that it uh, so this area will look much better so like anything that helps with your composite you can do there's no right right or wrong way so let's drop down uh, an edge detect uh, it detects the edges uh, in our alpha so if I go to alpha channel and change it to sorry threshold and the yeah I think that's sobel let's detect and then 
sorry channel only alpha yeah so that's our uh, that's our edge right of the alpha so we try to uh, just decrease it uh, till we till it's not grainy like so and then maybe erode it you don't want holes so that there is no I think road is fine do we want blur uh, no we don't want blur so we have this edge as an alpha right so we can use this uh, mat or the mask to apply a blur so let's say we apply a blur and apply uh, plug in this alpha the mask and then pay attention here so this area is really uh, like there's no anti aliasing right so if I now apply it like yeah, even like two pixel you see how it gets uh, uh, it, 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 the edge improves so let's say if you take it to extreme yeah of course that's too much if we have to uh, uh, increase the quality for that but so just a little amount and then we can see but of course you don't want to do it too extreme because then it, it also affects the other edges see so I'll just apply 1.5 pixel blur and then see so it, it's uh, the background is the background and the in, in the and this cloth is blending uh, much better. So what we did in this tutorial was uh, we did uh, we imported the background and we uh, took the output of this guy to multiply it with the despilled footage and uh, put the luminance and the the background colors back with the help of the uh, merge node with, uh, with the help and also with the finding out the difference between the luminance with uh, merge with the operation minus and desaturating it and multiplying with the background and putting it back in our uh, despill footage so that we get the luminous value and and here we have our uh, final working background with the with the character uh, 